This is my current computer and as you can see we've only got one optical drive in the front of it. So today we're going to do a, an easy upgrade and that is we're going to fit a DVD rewriter and it's going to fit in there. And this is a really simple upgrade for most computers. It's an absolute doddle. So we've actually bought uh, a light scribe, a DVD burner and we've also got the Nero burning ROM software with it. So to fit one of these it's usually very very simple. So as you can see I've already removed the side panel from the computer and then if I just go inside here I can actually feel in these two plastic tabs and when I press them at each side it actually enables me to pull that blanking plate out. Once I've done that I can take the optical drive and I can slide it in from the front until it's flush with the other one and then on this particular case all you have to do is press that button in and it's actually locked and that DVD drive is now actually locked in position. So now we need to connect a SATA cable which should have come with the optical drive. So all we need to do is plug this in to the motherboard and then plug it in to the optical drive. So that's that one plugged in and then we'll just take the other end of the lead and plug that into the SATA connection on the optical drive. And then once we've done that we need to plug in the power cable which is conveniently located at the side here. If you don't have a spur SATA power cable like this you can always get a splitter which will convert an existing one into two. But in this case we've got one so we just need to plug that in and that goes alongside the SATA cable. So once you've got the SATA cable and the power cable plugged in that's it basically, that's how to fit an optical drive, it's as simple as that. And when we boot the computer up, because we're on Windows 7, it'll automatically identify the drive and it should be ready to use within a matter of minutes. And as you can see, it's now in position there and uh, we're just going to switch the computer on now and check it's working. So now if we click on the start button and go to computer, And you can see that it's installed a new DVD rewriter drive there, which is now drive E. So now all you need to do is install the disk that came with the optical drive and away you go. You can then start burning uh, CDs or DVDs.